What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Gunfish TV. Tournament number seven of our Wednesday afternoon series. And we're hoping for a limit today. I'm by myself. I don't have Lee with me, unfortunately. He had some things to do. And my daughter just didn't feel like coming out. So I'm running solo today. We're really gonna need five fish. We got 16 boats. And I think the fish are gonna bite. I honestly do. Water temps are 85, so we're dealing with warm. Water temps again. But I don't know if we're going to go deep or I don't know if we're going to go shallow. I'm not 100% sure. But what we're going to do, we're going to start off at a ditch. And I am going to probably throw the shaky head, maybe a raised bug up in the mouth of that. And then we're just going to go down the river. We're going to hit a bunch of spots. Hopefully we get on some fish. The main thing is we really need five. I know I've said that, but we really, really need five fish. Getting a limit in these afternoon tournaments is super, super important. And, you know, if you only bring in two, three, four fish, you're just not going to be in it unless you got a bag full of giants. So we're going to try to get a limit. We're going to try to catch some big ones, and that's the goal today. So let's go ahead and run down the river. Let's see if we can catch a solid bag. All right, y'all. We are going to start right here on this left side got a ditch that comes out i'm gonna stop a little bit shy of it so we can fish up to it but hopefully we can catch a big one we're actually right here at it shoot i didn't realize that the water's so low oh my goodness water's like way low i realize how low it is now that i've pulled up on it let everybody kind of get by and get all the weights out but Hopefully we'll get one right here on the shaky head. We gotta put a worm on there. I forgot to put a worm on. We're kind of a little bit discombobulated, but that's okay. We gotta let everybody get by and let these wakes get kind of out of the way anyway. Every time, uh, I don't know about for y'all, but whenever there's wakes, it kind of messes up the, the fishing. About to break my rod right there, but that old Mach 2 is tough, so she ain't gonna break, but we're gonna get get this trick worm up here this is colors plum it's really good in these in these darker rivers but we're gonna get this up here got a strike king quarter ounce jig head 20 pound p line leader and 20 pound p line spinex braid and this is the Mach 2 medium heavy seven foot medium heavy spinning rod so hopefully we get us a big one. There aren't any more boats coming, so that's good. Oh, no, it is another boat getting ready to idle. But I know this ditch right here in front of me has a lot of fish at the mouth of it. It always does, but the water is like standing dead still, which is not ideal, and the water is super low. So that really messes up the bite. Obviously, if the ditch is up, you have water flowing out of it, creating current, you're going to have fish that are willing to bite but right now that's not so much the case um not saying that nothing's gonna bite but just that's not the case as far as current goes we don't have we don't have current coming out but we're gonna see if we can get one on that drop off be nice to catch a couple of solid keepers right off the bat that's definitely going to be the goal i can see right now the water's actually coming in the water's pushing into the river. I don't know, I can see right now that it might be a little bit tough just with the water, the way, it, the way it's doing, coming in. The fish just do not like that water coming in. We're gonna pick up that buzz bait though. All right, let's pick up that buzz bait. The old mock smash combo. Been absolutely crushing the fish with this thing this year. Got the old toad buzz bait with the white toad on it. Let's see if we can 
See if we can call up a big one. All right, so I just pulled over to the other side of the river. There's another ditch over here. So I just pulled up right over here. We're gonna fish this ditch and fish down to that next point. And then we're gonna make up our mind where we're gonna where we're gonna go. Just do up there on a piece of wood or something. Yeah, that water's coming in, undoubtedly. A lot of wood down there. Pick up the frog, that frog up there. There we go. Get in here, baby. Just keep her number one. All right. All right, baby. We got him. All right. God, that fish blew up on it. I mean, I literally short lined the mess out of that thing. He blasted that frog. Ooh, I got lucky too. Got him on the back of the, like under the mouth. There we go. Keep her number one. Yes. Right here at the mouth of this ditch. Good deal. Hey, I'll take it. 455. That's what we need. That is what we need. That fish was aggressive too. Nice. Golly. So we can get another one in there. Ooh. Getting excited. I don't want to hit the trolling motor because I don't want to. I don't want to mess up the, the spot, but. I'm gonna have to kick out. Oh God! One just come up and took it under. Frog bite might be on a little bit. Hmm, okay. That fish didn't bite it quite as good as the other one, but I mean, definitely bit it and pulled it under. All right, so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fish up to this little point right here. And then I'm gonna get right and run up the river. I know I had said that I was gonna go down, but I think I've had a change of heart. Got those couple bites at the mouths of that ditch, so I think that I'm actually gonna go run ditches. Just fish high percentage areas, high percentage spots, good pad fields, bends, and just throw the frog. I mean, might flip some, you know, but throw the frog on shady, you know, shady areas and that gummit, see if we can get five. I mean, that fish come up and blew up on it. I missed another one after, and I just think we just need to stick with confidence here and make it happen. Make it happen. I think we can do it. Just gotta stick with it. All right, let's get out of here. Let's get on up the river. We just gotta, I think we just gotta move around a lot, hit a lot of high percentage spots, and that's how we're gonna get them today. I think that's how we're gonna get them.
All right, so pulling up to a shoreline right here, not far from where we were actually just at, but it has a lot of ditches that come in. Really good looking cypress shoreline. So we're gonna we're gonna hit this right here with a frog. Got a lot of shade on it. I don't know if y'all can see that ditch right here in front of me, but it's got like three or four ditches that come out to the river. And we're gonna throw the frog all up there. We're gonna see if we can make this thing work. The shoreline has a lot of good cuts in it. Missed him. That was a good bite. Let's pitch up there. That was a daggum nice one. Yes, yeah, bass. I mean bait fish all over the shoreline so i mean there should be bass on it for sure that was a daggum nice one just was not fully committed to the frog when he bit it oh my god i just missed a giant I cannot believe that I just missed that fish. That was a freaking four pounder. He ain't gonna bite it again, I stuck him. How did I not catch that fish? I'm having the worst luck. I mean, that's not good luck. He come from the side and bit it. No, 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 man. Doggone it, that's too really important fish i mean that fish bit it like while i was working it i mean mm. i cannot believe that well i can kind of believe it with the way things have been going but i wish i didn't have to believe it <laughs> that going that was a biggie Golly. And this freaking boat is coming by with a massive weight. That fish just blew up on it. And I missed him and stuck into this log. These fish are up here on these small pieces of, like, basically lay down wood. How did I miss that fish? Oh, man. No good. I thought I had stuck that sucker. Man. Here. Oof. We are not having any luck. No luck. Another missed bite. That was another lay down piece of wood just laying like that. And that's what I got the last bite on too. They just are not eating it right. I don't really understand what we got going on, but. We really need one of those nice fish that bit the frog to commit to that buzz bait and eat it. Let's go ahead and turn around and see what we can do.
jack gum. Just missed it on the buzz bait. I cannot get a break. That was a good bite too. Man, right here. I just don't know what is going on. Missing so many bites. That fish like hit it from the side too. Like it was just like a from the side bite. The fish are up shallow. I mean that's the thing. The fish are up shallow. I mean it seems like they're feeding. I'm throwing kind of sort of the right thing. I think. I mean... We're getting bites on the frog and the buzz bait. But we are not getting fish in the boat. That's a nice bass. Oh no. Okay, come here. Get in here. Golly. All right. All right. That's not as big as what I thought. It's a keeper. It's a keeper. There he is. Nice little chunk. That fish hit it like a darn 10 pound hammer. Golly. I mean, whoo. That fish absolutely smashed it. Up in that ditch. Man, we should, I mean, we should have a limit right now. We should have a daggone limit. That fish absolutely crushed it. I mean, whew. All right. That thing about tore my nerves up. Now, that's how they're supposed to hit it. All right. Ditches. Ditches, y'all. I mean, it's pretty... Easy to see. We need to concentrate on ditches. Number two. Number two at 556. Alright. Good deal. I mean, they're biting the daggone frog. They are biting it. They're just some of the fish just are not being... Being just... I don't know. They're being aggressive, but they're just not eating it good. I don't know. It's, it's weird. It's really weird. I mean, I guess we'll just keep throwing it. I guess we'll keep throwing it. I mean, I don't see why we would change it up. And we're going down the shoreline, we can give them a little bit different look, a little bit different angle of cast going back down. And maybe that really nice fish that we missed earlier will come back and bite. Maybe, just maybe, possibly. God, all right, so we just got to... We're going to fish down to where I missed that fish, and we're just going to run ditches. I mean, we truthfully should have a limit right now in the amount of fish that I've missed, and we should have some daggone nice fish. That's all right. We got time. All right, we got to go. Big old dead catfish at the mouth of it. See that nasty stinking sucker. Man, it's a ton of dead catfish in the river right now. And I know y'all are probably saying, well, why is that? 
The reason being is that the dissolved oxygen in the water is so low. This is what makes the fishing so tough. The dissolved oxygen in the water is so low that the catfish can't even live. I mean, the fishing is ridiculously tough. And if that doesn't tell you a little something about it, then nothing will. The dissolved oxygen is just crazy low. And this catfish floating everywhere. All right, y'all. Well, stopped and fished that shoreline. Probably not going to show y'all, but where I fished the first thing, and I lost those nice fish, and one of the guys fishing the tournament was fishing it, so I only hit one spot where I missed one, and he had fished the, re uh, the rest of it. He said he didn't catch anything. He only had one small one, and that's it. So I don't know. It might just be another incredibly tough afternoon. Probably going to come down to having a limit, like I said. So maybe we can get up here. It's 733. We only have about 45 minutes left to fish, so if that, we'll be lucky if we have 45 minutes left to fish. So hopefully we get up here on the shoreline and we make it happen. I don't know. Hoping for five. Let's get them. All righty, y'all. A lot of people are running back this way. No, that's a, another daggone ski boat. Got somebody skiing. I tell you, it went for a few years when gas got really high and like nobody out here was on a ski boat or anything and now uh it's a lot more people out here skiing and all and they are just the bank is just getting torn up the banks are muddy it really affects the fishing but we can't let that bother us that's going to be part of it i just hope they're not going back and forth on this section because that is going to suck But we're hoping for three good ones right here. Got to make it happen. I noticed some big girls live right here. All right, y'all. Well, that's it. I'm gonna tell you what, what an absolute grind and once again, no limit. Golly, just had another guy come by this fishing in the tournament. He told me he didn't have anything. I mean, I know some people got them, but man, tough, tough, tough. We gotta get on back. I mean, it's 807, we are pushing, getting back at 820. I think we're gonna be all right though. Another grinding, freaking Nottaway afternoon. I mean, this is what the Nottaway's known for. She's tough. 